Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to uh, re-encode a video from whatever format you have it in into X264, which is going to drastically reduce the file size while still giving you uh, good quality for YouTube. Okay, we're going to take a look at this file here. Uh, as you can see, hopefully, the original file is 43.2 megabytes. Uh, it's just a uh, some range footage of uh, my buddy shooting his 45 for the first time, Springfield 45 he picked up. So like I said, um, the original file here is 43.2 megabytes. So that's what we're starting with. Okay, we're going to open up AVI Dmux, uh, which is a free video editing software. I'll have links to all this stuff in the sidebar. So you open up AVI Dmux and we're going to drag our file onto it. Oh, it's detecting H.264 because it's HD video so we're going to click yes to that. Okay so we got the program open here. We've dragged our file onto it. Okay, We're going to go to the video tab. I'm going to scroll down until I see X264. Then I'm going to go to the audio tab, and I prefer to use AAC, which works really well for the audio. And then I'm going to change the format to MP4, which is what I like to, the container I like to use to upload to, uh, to YouTube. So then we're going to go up to, to File, to Save, Save Video. And we're just going to name this... Uh, save that to the desktop. See it's going to start re-encoding the file and uh, if you have multiple cores uh, on your processor it's going to use them all. This is a quad core so this encode is going to be uh, fast. Obviously the speed depends on uh, the speed of your computer. But well, we're just re-encoding here. and this is going to substantially reduce the file size. You see I just used the default settings for uh, the X264 codec. I didn't change anything. So you should pretty much be able to just repeat this process. Open it up, select X264, AAC Audio, MP4, and then save it. Okay, so our, our re-encode has been saved. So now we're going to look at that file. So the files went from 42 megabytes to 8.48 megabytes in size. But as we open it up here, you can see I'll just skip through it a little bit. You can see that you haven't lost much quality at all, but the file size is, what, four times smaller? More than four times smaller? Um, yeah, and it, it's an easy process. You pretty much drag and drop select those three options and save the file and just let it encode. Um, a 10 minute video in 720p is usually like 500 megabytes for me and it gets down to usually under 100 megabytes for a 10, mi a 10 minute video. So if you're not, if you're shooting videos even less it'll, it'll be even quicker of a, an encode for you uh, depending on your machine. But I'll have the link in the sidebar over here for AVI Dmux and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it, it's worth the time to uh, to re-encode your videos because it saves you a shitload of time uh, and uploading. Once again, just to show you, open both the properties for these files. Went from 42 megabytes to 8.4 megabytes uh, with relatively the same quality. Um, and that's that's pretty much what I do to uh, all my videos.